kids, I'm Hyla, and this is a vlog on Hyla cooking. So this video is part of a series that we've been wanting to do for a long time about entertaining, where we'd pick a party theme and then do a series of videos to go along with that to show people how to make the food, how to make the drinks, how to do the decorations without spending a whole bunch of money and having to buy a bunch of stuff that you're only gonna use once. And then some, you know, fun shots of my good-looking friends enjoying a party. The theme of this party is France. So it's a French brunch party. I did brunch. I know brunch has a bad rap because people are like, oh, everybody drinks too much and it's just an excuse to get really drunk and so irresponsible. But honestly, once you have a baby, like brunch and breakfast and lunch is the most convenient time to entertain your friends because by 7 p.m. you're just totally exhausted. So that's what we found that works for us. So we did a brunch, had our friends come over uh, and I don't know, French brunch has a nice ring to it. So for my French brunch menu, I decided to do a couple different quiches, a quiche Lorraine, which is a bacon quiche, and then also a mushroom quiche for the vegetarians in the group, because there's a few. Some fresh fruit, I'll just decide, you know, whatever, cherries are in season, so maybe it'll be cherries. And then some peach melba for dessert, which is a really, really simple peach and ice cream dessert that was invented by Chef Escoffier. Those things will be like the main items. We'll do a little quick herbed vinaigrette salad. I'm gonna do a cheese tray, and I learned all about cheese from the owner of Antonelli's Cheese Shop, so that was super fun. And then as it so happens, as I was going through the last few weeks planning this brunch, Stephanie emailed me from France and offered to send me a box of French treats. So I saw me taste some of those in the put it in my mouth video, I'll link to that. And then we were also able to serve some of those at the brunch, like the pate and everyone really liked it and it was really fun to be able to actually serve some actual French food to my guests. So, and then for drinks, we just are doing really simple cold champagne and for anyone that wants a non-alcoholic, I'm making a lavender lemonade because France is known for its lavender fields. It's fields of lavender. So for the decorations, I went with like a French country or a French countryside because that's a little bit easier, a little more accessible, I think, than trying to do big lights, big city, city of lights, Paris, because there's a lot more leeway because everything's kind of rustic. You definitely want to have some kind of fresh flowers. You could do cut flowers or even some nice potted herbs would be a great way to do it if you're like opposed to cut flowers because you're like killing flowers. I did some cut flowers because I love color. So for my vase, rather than using just like standard vase, I had one of these Le Parfait canning jars. So these, you can still buy these, they still make them, but um, I, got, I inherited some from my grandma so I didn't have to buy them, but I'll put a link to where you can buy these if you like them. So use it as a vase. Look at that, and it says Le Parfait on it, which is in French, which means the perfect, I think. Uh, so there you go, that's French. If you don't have one of those, use a pitcher. This is an antique pitcher, a ceramic pitcher. When I think of French countryside, I think of like lots of wood, lots of ceramics, lots of neutral colors, and if you want a, a little punches of color, like blue and aqua, and yellow and pink. So it's kind of, it's, there's a lot of feminine touches to it. Lots of like lacy floral patterns and like curved lines and stuff like this. Like this is a really nice shaped pitcher. Um, a glass pitcher would work too. And then I've also got this little weird ceramic. It used to, I think it used to be like an old liquor bottle or something. Um, so this, something like this would work too. Like this terracotta, like pottery would also totally work for a French countryside theme party. And then when you're setting your table, I'm going to do mine. I did mine buffet style just cause we had a pretty large group and I don't really have enough seating anyway. So people can just eat standing up. Nobody cares once they've had a few glasses of champagne. So when you're setting your buffet table, you want to think about layers. So cake stand, use that to hold one of your quiches and then you can have another one on another platter below it. So then also by layer, you can fit more stuff on your table if you have like a really laden table. Um, and then this bowl, which is really sort of a decorative bowl, because look, it has holes in it, guys. You could not put pudding in here, but I used it as a little colander. So I filled it with cherries and then you can rinse the cherries right in there. And it's an adorable little bowl, also for my grandma. Um, so if you have any like antique white or off-white bowls, dishes, bust those out. Also lots of wood. So this is just a little wooden cutting board. 
little cutting boards like this, I think people love to give these as gifts because they're really cute, but they're kind of too small to be very useful as a cutting board, but use them as a cheese tray and it works great. And then also I've got some baskets here, plain old baskets. I mean, you don't need anything fancy. And then the only thing that I actually bought was some brand new little white and blue striped tea towels that I can use to put in the basket and like cover the bread up with it so it looks, you know, it looks like it just came out of the oven. And it did, but it wasn't my oven. But I did buy the bread from, you know, freshly made that morning from the bakery place. So there's a little bit about some decorations. You'll see them in action later on. So I'm gonna put all the details, all the recipes, everything that you need to host your own French brunch at my website, hylacooking.com slash French brunch. I'll put the link below. I'm even made a Spotify playlist that I'm gonna to try to link to. I think I can do that with a bunch of French songs that I, you know, that you can play at your party. So extra fun for that. Thanks so much for watching and stick around for more in this little fun new experimental series. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good week, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.